Welcome to Deus Ex Invisible War. This was released in 2003, and it's the sequel to the original Deus Ex. I've been meaning to play it for years, and in fact, I did try to play it many years ago, but I ran into technical issues since this game in a completely unmodified state doesn't play well with modern computers. However, I'm running the Visible Upgrade patch, which is an unofficial patch that was released at the beginning of 2017, and it does all sorts of nice stuff to make it actually run on modern computers, and just adds some nice quality of life things like full widescreen support, and also a high resolution texture back. So we've got all that running, and now the game works perfectly fine. So to put Invisible War in context with the other Deus Ex games, I think it's the least liked out of all of them. It was reviewed pretty poorly and not many people like it all that much. Uh, I think it suffers from some of the same issues that Thief 3 Deadly Shadows suffers from, which is unlike the originals, which were very open and simulation heavy. This, just like Deadly Shadows, has much more limited and linear levels, like much smaller spaces in which to explore, lots of loading screens in between places and things like that. So, yeah, probably not going to be an amazing game, but still, I'm, I've am i liked pretty much every Deus Ex game I've played. Well, actually, no, literally every one. The original, Human Revolution, and Mankind Divided. So I want to see where Invisible War sits next to all the others. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Infusion lab? Evacuated. Trainees? Gave the order myself. What did you tell them? I told them to run. That's all they need to hear until we reach Seattle. Agreed. Anything new on the terrorist? He's in the city. No ID yet. Unclear whether we're the target. An academic distinction if he really has a nanite detonator. Sorry. Security bots have acquired the target. We're too late! Helipad, let's go. Move! We have other options. We aren't equipped to fight a war. We're going to change the terms of engagement. It's our war, not theirs. We don't need cities or armies. We have the cells of human bodies. An invisible weapon for an invisible war. So we get to pick our avatar, gonna go with the difficulty of hard, can always change that if it turns out to be a problem. Um, let's go with her. And that intro movie was so cheesy, I love it, it was so, it's so video game circa 2003, isn't it? And I think the scientist that was speaking 
That sounded like maybe the same voice actor who, ju who did J.C. Denton in the original Deus Ex, but I'm not totally certain. Welcome, Alex. I see that you're awake. Just trying to sleep off the chopper ride. What happened? The guards practically dragged me to the roof. Let me introduce myself. Leila Nassif, director of the Tarsus Academy here in Seattle. I've been moved to Seattle. What about Billy? Is she here too? Alex, I'm afraid something happened in Chicago. A terrorist attack. We evacuated you and Billy just in time. No one told me anything about an attack. How bad is it? I have friends in Chicago. You don't want all the details in one dose. Trust me. First, pick up your map to the facility. It's stored in a data cube inside the chest. Then I'll unlock your door and tell you what I can about the disaster. What was that noise? Nothing to be concerned about. You have your assignment, Alex. The voice acting is so wooden. Nobody seems to care about anything. I have friends there. They may have died. Can you please tell me what happened? So yeah, they're like bombs going off outside or something. We're, we're apparently recruits in this institute. Little tutorials. So I have played for about five minutes, so I know these kind of initial things, like how to use the inventory. So I picked that up, and the interface seems kind of terrible. Uh, as far as I can tell, this is my inventory, which if this is all the slots I have, it is extremely small. And this is my quick, like, quick bar. So I can move it there, and then I can select it with the number keys if I'd like. Can't eat this, uh... What is it? It's Monty Bites candy bar. Can't eat it because I'm full. It's odd too. Um, so items that you can pick up and like throw around like this chair. When you can interact with them, it shows up as like this little bounding box thing if you can see it. But it's so subtle that it's really hard to tell. Especially if you're like moving. It's so subtle. Good old basketball. Oh wow. Huh. Those physics. What is wrong with them? That ball does not move right. I'm trying to figure out if that's just how the game is, or... Or if it's some sort of a bug? Because sometimes physics can be funky when you're playing on like, especially a multi-core computer. And this game was meant for something that just has a single core. Sometimes physics play at like super speed. I know that's a common issue. But I don't know if it's actually going super fast or if it's just weird. How's the chair? See, now that definitely doesn't look super fast at all. I don't know, there's just something weird about the ball. It's just like, sticky. Anyway, map of Seattle Tarsus Complex. Alex, I thought this map might help you acclimate more quickly to the new facility. Dr. Nassif. Good. Ooh. Now I'd like you to come downstairs and meet the other trainees. Billy Adams, you know from Chicago. Check in with her in apartment 454 on your way down. 454, okay, so what we just picked up is a map. We can look at that here. Doesn't look like there's a mini map. I think you gotta go to images to find it. So this is us here, Billy Adams is up there. By the way, there's a nice bird outside. So we picked up this thingy. Look at that bird. Another explosion. Everything is so dark. Even with the lights on, like... This does not feel like the lighting of the future. Shadows? Like shadows in the future? I don't believe it. Also, like any good Deus Ex game, you can flush the toilet. You can use the faucet. I wonder what these things are. Light sensors, maybe? Or like, not light sensors, but like movement sensors, probably. 
to determine when to turn on lights. Even the coffee maker works. I asked Nassif to drop this off. Alex, why are we locked in? They bring us here in the middle of the night, then treat us like prisoners with no explanation. Come see me as soon as you can. I'm in 454, Billy. Oh, whoa. I didn't know those are just destructible items. I just gotta figure out what's destructible. This is plastic. This is not. Or is it? Oh, no, there we go. How about this? Dang it. Some more food. So this is about, yeah, this right here is about as far as I played. So now this is all completely unknown to me. It's so dark and grim. Oh my god. I just want to look at this picture. Attention trainees. Self-study will last only until the top of the hour. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Oh yeah, so it looks like these binoculars actually give you some sort of kind of low night vision. I was going to see in the dark a little bit. Until our security assessment changes, Tarsus will be operating... Oh, uh, oh Jesus. In the main uh. I don't have the patience for your weirdness today. Get lost. <laughs> what? My weirdness? This person just died. SSC guard. Oh my god, Attention you can pick up people. So you can throw them! Oh, I love it. Oh, they're so bendy. Look at them. This is like pre-ragdoll physics or something, or it's just like very, very simplified ragdoll. Anyway. Until our security assessment changes, Tarsus will be operating as a closed campus. Partially depleted ammo complex. clip. Munch bar, is that a dispenser? Oh, crap, I just put money into the thing to get a bar. I think I started out, yeah, I started out with 100 credits, I just spent 20, and now I'm down to 80. Oh. Oh, it's actually a readable book. Upper and Lower Seattle. Two hearts beat as one. It's the shortest book ever, it's like two tweets. Seattle arose from the ashes of the collapse by building onward and upward. Pillars were erected in the center of the old city, representing the city's firm resolve to continue and to raise itself up. Upper Seattle was constructed on a platform laid on these pillars, with Lower Seattle nestled safely beneath, and an inclinator connecting the two levels. Attention trainees. Self -study What's an inclinator? Is that the same as an escalator? Hmm. Keycode or multi-tool required. Do they not allow you to freeform enter the code? Like you have to know it and then it just automatically inputs it? Until our security assessment you looking changes, for me? Huh? You looking for Leo Jankowski? I'm probably in the wreck area working out or already on a plane for Horde RCP, Special Security Division. And I bet you wish it was you, huh, plebe? Okay. A cleaning robot! Oh, I'm gonna go see them super Attention soon, training. but I think Billy, yeah, Billy's here. Until the top of the hour. Oh god, he's really dead, isn't he? Yes. What happened? Mike and I, we've, we've worked here for years. Usually nothing makes it past the turrets. Do you know what's going on? Dr. Nassif acted like nothing's wrong. I, I'm Tell sure SSC will be sending help any minute, any minute now. Operating as a closed campus. Please remain in the main complex. Maybe this is darker than it should be, because even in the cutscene, it's way brighter. Let me check the settings, although I did hear that in the game, even with the unofficial patch that I have, the readme for the unofficial patch did mention that the brightness and gamma settings are messed up in Windows 10. But I'll try to tweak them and see if it changes anything. Huh, well the gamma setting seems to have worked pretty well. Yeah, this, this looks way, way better, way less grim. 
Still, still very awkward lighting, but. Yeah, who's there? It's me, Alex. Finally, it's about time you woke up. Come on in. We've got to talk about what's been going on around here. So much emotion. Everything's exploding. So much has died in the hallway. Finally, you woke up. Until our security assessment. I take it you heard the disturbance. Any idea what's going on around here? This Dr. Nassif is telling me to ignore what sounded like an explosion, and I just saw a man killed in the hallway. I tried to get answers out of Dr. Nassif, but all she'd give me is the elevator code. It's 28901 if you need it. I don't know what's going on, but it's clear we're not safe. We don't know anyone here, so we'd better watch each other's back. Thanks. I guess I should meet our hostess here already. Not much else I can do, and maybe I can get some better answers in person. You coming? Nah, not yet. I've got things to do. Goal complete. Goal received. Report to Dr. Nassif. Key code. Stored Until in data vault. Okay, cool. Changes, yeah, let's stick together. Are they, the, are they the person that we saw in the cutscene jumping into the helicopter? I know they had red hair. But they look a little bit different. But maybe they just look different because it was a cutscene, so they... Yeah, I mean, they would look different in the cutscene. Hey, this is the same picture I had. I'm impressed with how many fragments there are to that. Too heavy? Ah, oh, I bet you there's an augment for that. Just like there is in Mankind Divided. Ooh, bread! I can eat it too. Thanks for the food, Billy. Doors and locks tutorial. When you focus on a door container, two indicators will appear to the left of your targeting cursor. These indicators help determine if the object is locked and how much damage the object can take before it is destroyed. The leftmost indicator displays the strength of the object. If no indicators indicator is displayed, the object cannot be destroyed. The rightmost indicator displays the lock strength. Lock strength is represented by one to three lock icons. Number of lock icons corresponds to the number of multi-tools necessary to open it. If no lock icon appears, the object is not susceptible to multi-tooling. Okay, so multi-tools are still a thing. So, it does have health and it has one lock. So I could potentially destroy it. <laughs> do you think they would mind? I should do a quick save. I'm just going to use your winning trophy to destroy your box here. Uh... I don't think that's working. Can I like punch it or something? That is not doing anything. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna leave. Let's not make this any more awkward. Oh whoa! Jesus! It just disappeared into the void. Yeah, it looks like turning the ooh, turning the gamma up kind of over brightened some scenes, but eh, I think it's worth it to be able to actually see. Until our security assessment changes, Tarsus will be operating as a closed campus. Please remain in the main complex. Well, that's cool. It's a little like hologram sign display. Take a look at this cleaning bot. I love cleaning bots. They're always so cute. Watch your step. Injuries may occur. They always say something when you get in their way. I love it. Attention Greetings. Self-study will last only until the top of the hour. Look at that little fella. Okay, thanks. <laughs> What's going on? I saw one of your troopers killed. All part of SSC duties. I can't comment except to say the situation will be under control shortly. What do you mean no comment? I saw a man die. Move along. I know you have your orders and I have mine. 
Now let me do my job. I've got just as much training as you do, if not more. Why don't you let me help out? Why don't you keep your mouth shut and just stay out of SSC's way? Alright, productive conversation. Goodbye. Tarsus Recreation. Let's go! Compass tutorial. Shows the direction you're facing, finding your way through the world, especially when characters you meet give you directions. Okay. You know what's weird and a little bit annoying about the compass is that it doesn't update as frequently as the game. So, like, the game's running at, like, 60 FPS, but the compass seems to update at, like, I don't know, 15 or 20 FPS? I wish it was just as smooth as everything else. Um... Hmm. I think I'm going to try turning off Bloom. It's looking a bit washed out. I think partially because of the Bloom, partially because of the Gamma. But let's just try turning off the Bloom and see if that fixes it. Oh yeah, that is way better. That reduces a lot of the washed outness. Oh, that requires two multi-tools. I know what you must be thinking. Don't worry, this won't be a repeat of Chicago. The facility's under attack. By who? No one. Just an isolated incident. Listen, we want the trainees to stay in the rec area. You'll be safe down here. Doctor! Doctor! We have a code yellow! Uh, hello, Stan. Are you sure? One of the guards turned up dead. I'll be right there. You'd better introduce yourself to the others. Clara's just down the hall and Leo's running laps around the track. What's going on? I have a right to know if I'm in danger. You'll be safe in the wreck area. Go, Alex. I don't have time to debrief every one of the trainees. How gullible does Nassif think we are? Oh, nothing's wrong? Okay, if you say so. I'll just ignore the explosions and the dead guard. In the news saying that someone started a war on Chicago or whatever. Hello there, you must be Alex. I'm Clara Sparks. Hi. What's going on? It looks like this facility is under attack. Probably just more demolition. That's Upper Seattle, you know, always growing. We hear it all the time. Hey, you must be overwhelmed. I mean, Chicago? The whole city. Was your family from there? My foster parents. Your parents? Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. If I can do anything to make you feel more at home, let me know. Goal complete, meet Clara. I didn't even know that was a goal. I love how there's so much interactivity and in stuff. It's fun. It's goofy, but it's fun. Hmm, I wonder if I can hack the fan. Turn it off with a circuit breaker. Nah, I've been playing too much Mankind Divided. Some nerve. What? can't just pick up a trash can. Oh, looks like you can just get water and heal yourself a little bit. If you were hurt. I'm not touching you again. I don't want to pay money. Yeah, let's go over here. Caution. Runners. So, they let the Chicago transfers out of their cages. You're looking at Leo Jankowski. You train here now, so I guess you can call me Leo. Alex, I just talked to Dr. Nassif. Know anything about a code yellow emergency? A security guard has been murdered. Would I be running if there was an emergency? Me? You never heard the name Leo Jankowski in Chicago? Wow, Leo, you're a cool dude. Right, Jankowski. It's great to finally meet you. Well, don't be intimidated by my ranking. I make a point of treating every team member as an equal. Thanks. Tough break about Chicago. I think everyone will understand if you want to take it easy these first few days. I appreciate that. Listen, I'm serious. You didn't hear the explosions? I saw a guard killed right in front of me on the apartment level. Probably staged. A test for the new transfers. They rewrote the exercises because of my performance. If there was trouble, they'd notify me immediately. The guard was dead. I'm sure of it. Better look again. They did the same thing to me during Summer Recon. I got a perfect score because I kept my cool. Sounds like you're in this for the adventure. 
Why'd you sign up? Money? My foster parents enrolled me at a Tarsus middle school. I never thought about it much. An orphan? You were pretty pampered for an orphan. Why not be a banker or something? I grew up in old Chicago, not some cozy enclave. My parents made it clear I was gonna have to make it on my own. When I got picked for the covert ops program, I figured what the hell. What the hell? What kind of assignment do you expect with that attitude? A risky one, with a big salary. Let me finish my run. This facility is under attack. Alex, please get the med kit and the multi-tools from your equipment locker next to the basketball court. Just a precaution. Dr. Nassim, I'm transmitting the software report. ID to your data vault right Nassim, now. Please More details when they become available. What happened to finishing your run, Jankowski? Red alert. There has been a severe security breach. At least I get to wear a cool uniform. Was that me? Or some... Oh no, I think that was a person down there. Dr. Nassim, please report to Whoa, look at this jump. It's like I'm in space. Low gravity. Red alert. There has been a severe security breach. Oh no, I just paid more money accidentally again. Dr. Nassif, please report to A17. Dr. Nassif, please report to A17. Get your equipment. Alert, I'll watch your back. There has been a severe security breach. I tried. Oh, please tell me these break. Ah. Am I in the right area? Yes, I think so. Oh, ammo. Ammo, some food. Is that a stun baton or just a baton? Terrorists seem to belong to oh. the order. Religious fanatics. They're oh. Okay. Uh, have you acquired a weapon and ammo? Uh, equip a weapon outside the inventory screen. Highlight in your tool belt with a mouse wheel and press right mouse. Okay, gotcha. Ammo counter will appear in the lower left section of your on-screen interface. Mm -hmm. How many shots you have remaining? How many clips you have in reserve? Ammo is universally compatible, but different weapons will use ammo at different rates. Oh. That's interesting. So you just have generic ammo. That's weird. Your exact objective is unclear. All trainees will evacuate the facility immediately. Use the elevator in my office. Okay, uh, I have a bunch of stuff. W what do I have? I've got a baton. Uh, this... My weapon should probably be first. Put that on one and two. Put the food and stuff down there. This is a multi-tool. Oh, it's interesting. It looks much less electronic than the multi-tool from Mankind Divided. It kind of just looks like a high-tech lick, a uh, high-tech lock picker. Keypads, locks, as well as for disabling cameras and turrets. Hmm. Ineffective on complex systems like bots or security computers. And what is this med kit? Okay, so I can unlock one or the other. Um, hmm. It looks like a grenade, and I don't know what the other things are. Let's go for this one. Whoa. That's cool. Spider. Did I pick up the spider bomb, or is that... No, that's the spider bomb. Oh, vice. I got a vice, spider bomb, and credits. Oh. Pack of cigarettes. Wait, is that what the vice was? Where's my spider bomb? Self assembles into a spider bot, allied to the user, will attack the nearest enemy, delivering EMP and electrical damage, detonates after a brief duration, or can be set to detonate on contact by using the alternate firing mode. 
Whoa, it turns into a spider bot? That is cool. Is there, is there like an aim down sights? You're fine, you're fine. Don't worry. We've got trouble. I spotted a seeker coming our way. Look, there's no reason for me to drag a trainee into a firefight. Why don't you try to slip out before I start shooting? Sounds like a good way to become a target. Not if you're careful. Just stick to the shadows, crouch, and move slowly. You'll come through just fine. Okay, so this is our sneaking tutorial. Don't be ridiculous. We can handle one order, Seeker. Those are pretty big words for a rookie. Go ahead, you first. I'll bring up the rear. <laughs> okay. How do I reload? Like, do you not reload? I'm pressing R and that's not working. I don't see a reload button in the in the controls. Alt fire, does that do anything? Oh. Next time I won't get caught napping. Oh whoa, alt fire on the pistol gives you a flashlight. Don't really need it too much anymore, but Oh, still the tutorial. Um Yep, crouch to be seen less. Um, avoid walking on stone or metal surfaces. Oh, interesting. The surface you walk on actually matter matters. That's completely different from the newer Deus Exes. That sounds kind of more like the original Thief. I think that had a system where if you walked on like tile and things, it'd be louder. The cloak and silently bio mods can also improve your stealth among organic enemies. Thermal masking can make you invisible to bots and cameras. See, it's no big deal. Warning. Autonomous security systems have been compromised. Just my luck. This crazy shows up right before the end of my shift. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Intruders are storming the facility. Evacuate immediately. Warning. Autonomous security systems have been compromised. Lily, what are you doing? We all got the same orders. Get out of the facility through Masif's office. Forget that. How do you know they won't just cut us loose, given all this trouble at their facilities? Grab what you can now. Get your biomods installed. Tarsus owes us that much. I got mine, and they're worth the trouble. How? The facility's being locked down and evacuated. Go back to your apartment. You'll be able to get to the biomod lab through a breach the order made in the residential area. Wait, do you know what's going on? The order contacted me in Chicago and told me how to uncover Tarsus's treachery. We're not trainees, we're test subjects. Finding out I've been used like that, I don't feel so bad about disobeying orders. But where does the order fit into all of this? I thought they were a world church, not private investigators. I need to know more before I start making decisions. The order believes in natural balance, and they see Tarsus' operations as a violation of that. It's impossible to live a balanced life if your actions are secretly manipulated by a lab with its own agenda. Now you have a chance to see the real Tarsus. Explore the facility, starting with your apartment. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. The acting. My god. The Order contacted me and told me about Tarsus' treachery. They're terrible. Intruders are storming the facility. Evacuate immediately. If you want to avoid confrontations in the hall, you could crawl through a vent shaft I found earlier. It connects Clara's and Leo's apartments. Enter the apartment on your immediate left to get to it. Yes, vent shaft. Never thought I'd see people die. Ooh, I just got a stun prod, which I'm guessing is... Well, I guess it's not the same as a baton, but uh, delivers a short-range electrical stun attack to a single organic target. Well, I guess I'll put that in here. Oh, you can get copies of pistols. 
What's gonna happen when I get too many items? Like, where do they go? Is it just gonna say no, no space? Flash bomb. We were friends. There's a seeker down there. I guess I gotta take him down. Sounds like a plan to me. Cover me when I charge him? I mean, I can handle it by myself. It's just that in training, we always had backup. Okay. Uh, actually, no. No need for a bloodbath. Let's sneak past. I wasn't so hot at the stealth maneuvers. You go ahead. I'll try to stay out of the way. This Any tips? The you must know the we floor plan by heart. If it was me, I'd go around. Crawl through an air vent or something. <laughs> these, these cards are useless. They're terrible. Toss this place. Ah, my inventory's full already. Do I really want a knife, though? I really don't. Oh, whoa. That was my old fire. Does this have ammo? Oh, oh, it is using ammo, actually. Just generic ammo, I guess. How come when I surf on bread it sounds like... It sounds like I'm... Uh... Pouring sand violently? And now the bread goes away. Who said go to your Just apartment? One minute. Uh oh break, dude. Order to main scientific experiment. Hear us. Did I get him or no, they're dead. I think they shot him. Well, I tried. Look what you did. Nope, don't shock it. May her holiness watch over and guide you. Order be praised. They took over the PA system. But yeah, I'm sorry, didn't they say the apartment immediately on my right? It's Billy's apartment. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, it's so big! Wow! And I thought they were big and mankind divided, but this is even bigger. Oh, multi-tool. I absolutely want that. I hope I can get an upgrade to increase my storage space. Um, I don't need two pistols. I don't need a baton. I'm not going to beat people to death. I don't need a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, that's good. I've got so many explosives already. You will each be interviewed individually in the near future to determine your interests and how they position you within the company. Please keep in mind how important security has become. We are looking for assurances that moving you into these new positions is the right thing at this time. Whoa. Did my head just go into the wall? Well, I've already been in this apartment, so I guess there wasn't much point of that, huh? We are here to rescue you from an inhumane scientific experiment. Oh. You have been That's where I came from. And the who established it. Did Order I go into this one? May her holiness watch over and guide yes. You. Okay, back to ours. Watch the ceiling while I cut the power. 
That's one of the subjects. Oh shit. The sound barrier's down. Not just the sound barrier, she can see us. Yes, yes I can. What do you think she'll do? Which one is it? D03. That's a very slow conversation. Get a to read the file. We are here to rescue you. Maybe we should leave. <laughs> Maybe you should. Not with a security grid malfunctioning. We're fine right here. Let's hope she has a sense of humor. Order be praised. May her holiness watch over. Yes, it's very funny that you've been violating my privacy. You are approaching a ladder, ladder tutorial. I think I can figure it out. Pretty sure. Hey look, a ladder works like ladder. You go up a ladder, you go down a ladder. Yeah, wow. These levels are super small. You really can't go more than a little bit without hitting a loading screen. And weirdly enough, by the way, the loading screens don't capture an OBS, which is why you're staring at a black screen right now. There is an actual loading screen, but it's kind of like a different part of the game. And then it starts recapturing once the game loads up. It's really strange. We are now in control of this facility. Anyway, um, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to check out the Tarsus Laboratories and get some bio mods.